I'm in shock and awe. Before I was so rudely interrupted. Who's she? How did they get Aretha? I am watching the Blues Brothers, hence blue, blue. Oh, I can make it a different blue, but like, whatever, we like that blue. What is up you guys? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Chanel and we are back in my childhood bedroom. Uh, this week we are gonna do a first time watch. It's a request on the channel, which is my favorite kind of video because I don't have to think about it. Um, last week we did a grown ass adult rewatch. We watched Matilda. I will put it here. Something really interesting has been happening on this channel. I did a few first time watches and people, <laughs> really liked them like who would have thought i guess i'm entertaining i don't know but anywho i saw what was it rocky horror picture show a few weeks ago and i thought it was weird and i thought it was so fun and i absolutely love 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 musicals especially when they're kind of ironic and funny so a bunch of you guys commented on my rocky horror video and you said that i would enjoy the blues brothers which i have never seen before so today we are doing a first time watch i am watching the blues brothers from 1980 for the first time ever i have never seen the blues brothers before um, I don't really know much about it. I know that, aren't they SNL characters, I thought, for certain. But I don't know that because I've seen the sketches. I know that because of pop culture. Like, I think there have been parodies of the Blues Brothers in, like, children's TV. Um, a bunch of you told me that it was a musical. I didn't know that. I went my whole life not knowing the Blues Brothers was a musical. I thought it was just like, I thought it was like a movie with music in it, but I didn't know it was a musical. Maybe it's not a musical. Maybe it is just a movie with music in it. I don't know. These guys weren't my SNL guys. Like these, this was not my year. SNL for me was like Kristen Wiig, you know? So I guess, <laughs> I, I mean, I guess. <laughs> no, I don't guess. Without further ado, let's just get right into the Blues Brothers from 1980. Ooh, I love a vintage Universal logo for the fans. We are in Illinois. Can't get the Chicago boys out of Chicago. Wake up. Let's that sound go. effect. This is Belushi, right? I love that they haven't revealed his face yet. Drum up that anticipation. Anticipation. Write it down. Cool. Oh, that is sick. That is a cool shot. Should I place a bet when we're gonna see his face? I see minute seven. It's 4.45. Brother. Brother. <laughs> minute seven. What did I f***ing tell you? That was all. That was all me. No. No. <gasps> promised you'd visit the penguin that who's penguin yeah. crucifixes are so f scary i'm allowed to say it, that i grew up catholic i will not take your filthy stolen money that'd be great a church kept afloat by stolen money i'm so in i guess you really up shit creek did he say shit's creek fellow canadians <laughs> she won't take their money but she'll beat the shit out of them with a stick so the suits are a real look i gotta get me one of these Oh, choreo, please be choreo. Yes, 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 yes. The band. Oh, they're gonna get the band back together to get the money. Money. <laughs> oh, this is ridiculous. <laughs> Arrest and impound. No, they're gonna lose the blues mobile. Then what? So they're hitting a lot of water in this street. How do they flood the streets for this movie? Do you think they get permission from the fire department to like crank open a hydrant? Look at this, look at this, how wet this pavement is. Oh, Toys R Us, RIP. He's gonna go through a building. Yes, do you have a Miss Piggy? I knew it, I knew it. <laughs> oh, I'm so in. Through the mall. Oh my God, they must have built like a mall in a huge, huge soundstage. I'm in awe. I'm in shock and awe. So this is frivolous. This is a chase for the sake of a chase. This is very like, this is kind of what they do on like Family Guy and they get made fun of for. Those like things that just take up time. Wow. So now they're straight up fugitives. Now they're not just getting the band back together. They're just running from the law. That looks like Carrie Fisher. That's not Carrie Fisher. That can't be Carrie Fisher. 
I, it was Carrie Fisher. Does she just have like a cameo in this? What the f I'm obsessed how their night just doesn't stop. They're like minor setback. Let's keep going. Oh, oh that sucks. This is a, a studio apartment in New York City. You know, I kind of like the Wrigley Field. Is that Candy? Yeah. John Candy? Real. What? Are you kidding me? <laughs> to run, so. Tarantino. This is Italian. Senzate. That's Pee Wee Herman. The Illinois Nazis. Oh, another destroying moment. Are they gonna drive through them? I love the Booze Brothers. They just f***ed up in their wake. Look at all these mom and pop shops. Not a chain in sight. Not an Applebee's to be seen. There's a lot of extras in this movie. This is not a small production. Finally, a song. Who's she? How did they get Aretha? I didn't want to say that looked like Aretha Franklin because I didn't want to look like a f***ing idiot. And it's Aretha f***ing Franklin. All that for nothing. Whole f***ing musical number and they're still gonna go. It's right f***ing Charles. Yes, choreo. Yes, yes, yes. I love choreography. I've been waiting an hour for this. Not really, because we got the Aretha number, but like this. And as usual, I gotta take an IOU. IOU? Did they get the, the instruments for free? Yes. Carrie Fisher blowing up the flamethrower. What is this a nod to? What is this parodying? Is this like disaster films where like no matter what, <laughs> the phone booth, no matter what happens, the leads like never die. Yay, Wrigley, I miss Chicago. It's been forever. Fun fact about me, I almost moved to Chicago once. A long time ago. Adam and Roy. I'm not necessarily bored, but like, what are they gonna do for another hour? I know, this is a movie that is all about the how. Like, they, we know that they're gonna, they got the band back together, because they did, and we know that they're gonna get the money. It's gonna happen at the very end, at the very last performance. They're gonna pull through, because um, everything seems to be working in their favor to like a comedic degree, which I think is very funny. Characters that just like, they shouldn't be winning, but they're winning. I think that's super funny and super fun, but like not for one second am I doubting that it's not going to like tie up really nicely and they're gonna get this money. And it's entertaining, but it's like not gripping, if that makes sense. Now you and me, I'm hoping that you'll come back to me. Please put this in the window, lady, because it's real important. <laughs> How the f did they get that kid to say that? This is funny, this real condensed timeline is it tonight. Ray Charles hangs it upside down. Wow, Grand Budapest much? Out of gas. Yeah. Mind if we fill her up? Ah, uh, the gas station's out of gas. I'll think about it, Elwood. Okay? She's like, I will text you, Elwood. Won't text. They packed it out. How much did this movie yeah. cost them? And then, uh, I love a show. They're all in f***ing costume. <laughs> Who do we think foils them now? Is it the Disaster Girl? The Nazis? The other band? The Blues Brothers. Fun. 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 This is fun. I just want to see their eyes. Does anyone else feel that way? Oh my god, it's Scary Fisher! <laughs> I didn't have enough money for cab fare. My touch didn't come back from the cleaners. What? <laughs> I believe him. I totally believe him. Yes! We see his eyes! Thank you! Carrie Mother Fisher. How much did this movie cost? This movie's so goddamn long, the sun's gonna set. Do you see that? I feel like fans of this movie are gonna kill me for saying this, but I want to see Channing Tatum and Jonah Hill do this movie. Very 21 Jump Street style. <laughs> they did it! Good job, boys! Oh my god, and now they're gonna do Jailhouse Rock? Ray, I knew that. I knew that was Aretha. Twiggy! Oh, They got the crew! That's so sweet! This is just one of those pile-on movies where it's like, just we're just gonna keep piling on the joke. The Blues Brothers, 
from 1980. So I'm not gonna like be like the little millennial over here like on this movie, I absolutely refuse. It is so much fun. It's absolutely so, so, so fun. It's not a musical, I thought it was, or at least I wouldn't consider this a musical. I'd say it's a movie with music in it and there are musical numbers, but like I wanted more. Like I wanted like 15 more music numbers with choreo. I got into the same trouble when I shat on Adam's Family One. It's like an A to B plot, like can they get this money? This movie is all about the how. It was basically about how they got from start to finish and the how is so fun. All that is to say, I would cut like 35 minutes from this movie. I think the most fun part about this was all the different bits, like the car chases and the blowing up of things. Like I thought that was insane. And I think that the second most fun part about this movie are all the cameos. It's hilarious to like watch for that. Let's do some Blues Brothers trivia. Permission to film in downtown Chicago was given after they agreed to donate $50,000 to charity after filming. Interesting. I'm dead. They call this the 30th, for the 30th anniversary of the movie, the Vatican newspaper called the film a Catholic classic. Producers rented the Dixie Square Mall in Harvey, Illinois for the mall chase scenes. The mall had been closed for over a year. Rumors spread in the community that the mall was being refurbished and would be reopened after filming was complete. Universal was later sued for over $87,000 for failure to return the mall to its original condition, something that had been agreed upon before. After years of political wrangling, the Montgomery Ward anchor store and mall power plant were demolished and the rest of the dead mall rotted. The rest of the mall was finally torn down and cleared away in 2012. What? Is that where they destroyed the mall? Oh my god, this is so f***ing 80s. According to Dan Aykroyd, cocaine was included in the film's budget to help the cast and crew stay awake during night shoots. So, Belushi is coked out in this movie, which I think we all knew that. All right, this answers my question. The film was considered to be a box office bomb until it became a blockbuster in overseas markets. By the way, you guys, the movie trivia for this film is off the charts long. So head on over to IMDb and check out that trivia and meet me in the comments below and we will talk about the Blues Brothers. Tell me something that I don't know about this movie. I will love you for it. Let's chit chat in the comments. Um, let me know what you thought of all the cameos. Let me know who your favorite Blues Brother is. Let me know if you went to this movie um, when it opened in 1980 and you thought it was absolutely hilarious. I really want to know if you want more of these first time watches and of my other series, my nostalgic rewatches, please just hit subscribe. Um, don't forget to like, don't forget to share if you want. And on that note, I am going to go eat dinner.